Top 5 Best Places and Things to Do in Brazil. Welcome to my channel. So before we get started with our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. The largest country in South America, Brazil occupies almost half the continent. Nearly all of it is in the southern hemisphere, and much of it is tropical, with vast stretches of rainforest filled with exotic plants and wildlife. Brazil's 7,400-kilometer Atlantic coast is lined with golden sand beaches, and its interior is filled with mineral resources. Gold from Brazil's mines still lines the churches of Portugal, the colonial power that ruled Brazil until 1822. This strong Portuguese influence is evident in Brazil's colonial architecture, in decorative arts such as the glazed tiles in its churches and convents, and in the language. For tourists, Brazil is both a tropical paradise and an exciting cultural destination with attractions for all tastes, from idyllic beach holidays and jungle explorations to world-class art museums and the pulsing rhythms of Rio's carnival. To discover the best places to visit and things to do, use this handy list of the top tourist attractions in Brazil. Number 5. Carnival, Rio de Janeiro. Few shows match Rio's pre-Lenten carnival extravaganza for color, sound, action, and exuberance. Make no mistake, this is not just another rowdy street party, but a carefully staged showpiece, where spectators can watch the parades of competing samba dancers from a purpose-built stadium designed by none other than Brazil's best-known architect, Oscar Niemeyer. Called the Sambadromo, this long series of grandstand boxes provides ringside seats to a 700-meter parade route where dancers and musicians from the competing samba schools strut their stuff in a dazzling explosion of brilliant costumes. If mob scenes are less appealing to you than more spontaneous celebrations, that are equally riotous and colorful. You'll also find carnivals in Salvador, Bahia, Recife, and other Brazilian cities. Number 4. Copacabana, Rio de Janeiro. Downtown Rio's most fashionable and famous section follows Avenida Nossa Senhora de Copacabana and is bordered all along one side by four kilometers of white sand and breaking surf. The beach is separated from the buildings and traffic by a broad promenade paved in black and white mosaic in an undulating pattern reminiscent of streets in Lisbon, Portugal. The beach isn't just for show. It's also a popular playground filled with sun worshippers, swimmers, and kids building sandcastles whenever the weather is fine. Stroll the streets here to find restaurants, smart shops, cafes, and beautiful old buildings from the days when Rio was Brazil's capital. One of these, the famed Copacabana Palace, is protected as a national monument. Inside its lobby, you can easily imagine seeing the royalty and film idols who have stayed here. Number 3. Salvador. A historic old city, beautiful beaches, lively culture, and one of the world's biggest carnival celebrations all fashion Salvador into one of Brazil's top tourist destinations. One of the oldest cities in the Americas, Salvador is the third largest city in the capital of the Bahia state. Formerly a major center of sugar and slave trade, Salvador today still bears traces of its history in its old city, which features colonial architecture, stunning churches, and plazas where important events once occurred. Also found in the old quarter are many restaurants, bars, art galleries, and handicraft shops. Contrastively, Salvador's new city district is where all the modern-day developments of shopping megaplexes, entertainment venues, golf courses, and residential neighborhoods are located. Situated on the coast of the Bay of All Saints, Salvador offers fantastic beaches that are ideal for sunbathing, swimming, and surfing. Some of the most popular include Porto de Barra, Flamengo and Stella Maris. Number 2. Foz do Iguaçu. One of the most awe-inspiring natural wonders in the world, Iguazu Falls straddles the Argentine-Brazilian border. It is often compared to Niagara Falls and Victoria Falls, such as its staggering size and scale. Surrounded by dense rainforest, its endless series of cascades stretch for almost 3 kilometers, making it the largest waterfall system in the world. Every second, an incalculable gallon of water from the Iguazu River course over the Piranha Plateau, plunging onto the rocks and pools below. While 80% of the falls are in Argentina, it is the Brazilian side that offers the most spectacular views, with Devil's Throat Canyon being the highlight. Besides gazing in awe at Iguazu Falls and taking in the deafening roar, Visitors can take a boat ride beneath the falls or go hiking in the steamy rainforest that surrounds them. The gateway to the falls on the Brazilian side is Foz do Iguaçu, a big and reasonably safe city by Brazilian standards. Number 1. Rio de Janeiro. With arms outstretched 28 meters, as if to encompass all of humanity, 
the colossal Art Deco statue of Christ, called Cristo Redentor, gazes out over Rio de Janeiro and the bay from the summit of Corcovado. The 709-meter height on which it stands is part of the Chijuca National Park, and a rack railway climbs 3.5 kilometers to its top, where a broad plaza surrounds the statue. Completed in 1931, the 30-meter statue was the work of Polish-French sculptor Paul Landowski and Brazilian engineer Haider da Silva Costa and is constructed of reinforced concrete and soapstone. The 8-meter base encloses a chapel that is popular for weddings. Although this is one of Brazil's most readily recognized icons, it is often mistakenly called the Christ of the Andes, confused with the older statue marking the boundary between Argentina and Chile. Let us know what you think about the list in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.